as a Christian, what types of fast can you do? Really all biblical fasts are gonna fall under three or four categories. The first one is what I call a complete fast or an absolute fast. That is where you fast everything, no food or water. And we don't have a ton of biblical examples for this. We have uh, Moses when he's receiving the Ten Commandments from God on Mount Horeb. We have that he fasted water and food. But you have to understand he was literally in the presence of God receiving the Ten Commandments. We also have in the book of Acts where Saul is on his way to persecute Christians and he's knocked off his horse and blinded by God. And it says that he fasted for three days and three nights, food and water. So that is a complete fast. Some people will call it a total or an absolute fast. Definitely something that I think you should do with caution and not do if you're a beginner at fasting. The second type of fast is what I call the normal fast. And it's where you consume no food and you only drink water. Uh, we see in Matthew chapter four and Luke chapter four that Jesus did this. The spirit led him into the wilderness and he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And afterward, it said he was hungry. It didn't say he was hungry and thirsty. It just said he was hungry. So you'll find a lot of biblical examples throughout uh, you know, the Old Testament and the New Testament, as well as throughout church history of people doing fast for three days, seven days, 21 days, 40 days. Those are usually kind of the normal increments of no food and only consuming water. The third type of fast is called a partial fast. A partial fast is where you fast certain foods, not all foods, certain foods, or you fast for a certain time of the day. Two big examples of this, what would, what would be called by some people the Daniel fast. And we find this in the book of Daniel where he says that he ate no choice foods. He had no bread, no wine, no meats. And so a lot of people will do a Daniel fast for 21 days and essentially only eat fruits and vegetables and drink water. So they're still consuming some food, but it's very, very reduced from the normal diet, especially the normal Westerner diet. The other way that you can look at this is only consuming food in certain times of day. A lot of people will call this a Jewish fast, uh, which is where they fast from the morning until the evening. So no breakfast, no lunch, and then eating a light, uh, very whole food kind of based dinner. So maybe vegetables and a little bit of rice, um, something like that. So you're still not like gorging yourself at night. You're not having a pizza every night, but you're fasting breakfast, lunch, and then having a meal at dinner. Um, these are great options for people who have health conditions or maybe you work in an industry where you know you have to have some kind of food because you're outside or uh, you're expending so much energy and so you can still you know eat food, you can still get some calories, but again, the key here is that you're doing no pleasurable food and you're doing it in a way that is still gonna make you uh, sacrifice and humble and submit yourself before God. The fourth type of fast is what I call a non-food fast. And this is where you fast pleasurable things. This is where you would fast maybe going to sporting events or watching TV, fasting social media, uh, fasting online shopping, different things like that. And there's not a ton of examples throughout the Bible, but we do have in Joshua chapter three, verse five, where Joshua said to the people, sanctify yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. So we can take that word sanctify and really look at it as purifying ourselves from anything that's gonna distract us from God. And this is something that's a great option for people who have serious medical conditions. Um, and then also maybe children or teenagers who shouldn't be fasting food, but still want to participate in fasting. Uh, maybe they fast their favorite TV show or uh, they fast social media or going to hang out with their friends. These are great options. And I will say about the non-food fast, if you're a healthy adult, um, I really want to challenge you to try to go for at least a partial fast. I think everyone uh, that is healthy and an adult should at least go for the partial fast. And really you can do the non-food fast on top of the food fast, but I think you should try to fast some kind of food at least uh, a, a few meals a day or a few types of food that are pleasurable on top of that non-food fast.